Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to start putting together the actual box of the jelly box. We're going to put together a little bit of the box, then we're going to put on some electronics, then the Y axis, the X axis, then we're going to close it up and then we're finished. So, as for the box, I want to do a little bit of intro on how to work with zip ties, because we're going to be using them a lot and I will not be repeating myself. First, the head of the zip tie should always be inside of the actual box, which would be either literally inside or on the bottom. So when you look at the bottom side, you know, it's, it's from some extent it's on the outside, the head is on the outside, right? But because the bottom is raised, it's still out of the reach. The whole point of the heads being inside is that you don't get caught up on them. Uh, because they could hurt you. Sometimes the, the cut at the end of the zip tie is not nice and clean and then you can actually scratch yourself. So, heads on the inside. Point number two, tightening. Vice grip can get you the tightest zip ties. Now, what to do, just like before when tightening the bearings, you sort of want this little pumping motion, but the thing to note is that the head of the zip tie needs to remain sort of in the air. Once you get the head of the zip tie right against one of the walls, that's the end of your tightening journey. You can't tighten it anymore. And to tighten it more, you first need to get the head of the zip tie away from the wall into the thin air again. And that's when you can pull on it some more and get it tighter. Uh-huh, great. One more thing to note, you can break the zip ties. They are not unbreakable and you are definitely stronger than they are. And that just probably will happen. And when it does, just be careful. Just be aware that when you pull on it as hard as you can, it may break and then, you know, your hand is gonna go in that direction. So be slightly careful. There's one more tool I want to show you. That's the zip tie gun. Yes, there is a tool called the zip tie gun. And in general, it's amazing. It speeds up the build very fast. We use it in our builds. Um, it's wonderful. What it does, it, it tightens the zip tie and then it cuts it. It has some disadvantages. One, it doesn't get it as tight as the vice grip can. Second, the cut is not always nice. Um, but if you keep the head of the zip tie on the inside of the box, you don't really have to care. Disclaimer, this zip tie gun, the only one I unfortunately have with me today, is so bad, so crappy, that it actually doesn't work. Uh, that's why I spent so much time explaining to you how it should work. But basically, I would just put the zip tie gun here, pull on it, sort of pump to tighten it, and then pull harder, and it would cut the zip tie. So if you can get your hands on one of these, do, but get a better one. The part of the box we're going to be putting together first is this quadruple of bottom, inner back, left, and right. So that's what you're going to prepare. Take, get your bottom, inner back, left, and right pieces, and let's get to it. One more thing, you are probably thinking, what happened to the table? Why is it suddenly beautiful and green? Well, that's because the clear acrylic pieces were just impossible to see on the light table. So we put on some blanket. We'll start with the bottom piece. The bottom piece has an etching start here in the lower left corner, and there's and there's also a patterned etching, which is different for each side. On the left side, it's rectangular. On the front, it's curved. And on the right side, it's triangular. The left, front, and the right pieces have matching patterned etching. And when we connect the pieces together, the line will become one seamless and whole. So we'll start with the start here sign. Take the part with rectangular etching, which will be left and snap it together so that the line becomes seamless, just like so. For ease of build, I'm now going to rotate the part so it supports itself and take the inner back. That's the part with all the electronics etchings. And we're going to snap it right between these two parts. You may need to turn it around a couple times. There's only one way it fits. You can't make a mistake. But there we go. Snaps together just like that. And I'll take a bunch of big pink zip ties and secure it all together. Remember, keep the head of the zip tie on the inside. And I'm not going to worry right now about making it tight. I am only 
going to tighten it with my hand to keep it together. On this side, the zip tie goes actually through this big rectangular hole with a little bit of slot left at the bottom for the zip tie. On all the other sides, it's matching holes as you would expect. Next, take the part with rectangular etching, that's the right, and snap it to the right side. Again, the triangles should align. Now let's go around and tighten these. In reality, you could just continue building now and keep these loose, which may be honestly a better solution, but I'm gonna tighten mine because the visual clutter would make it difficult for you to see the rest of the video. I'm just going around, tightening everything, and then I'm going to cut all the ends. If I had a zip tie gun, I would use it. These zip ties don't have to be crazy tight, just normally. And zip tie gun is perfectly fine for it. See what happened to me there? It sometimes happens, so be careful. There we go. Now, of course, you don't want the zip tie to be loose. If you do that, the printer is going to be noisier with all the parts moving too much. So this is the so-called quadruple. The bottom, the inner back, the left and the right. We are ready now to put on some components and electronics. <laughs> 